Okay, we have a um, short entry off of code 2. Now every day it's been going just a few ticks. One day it went two ticks, the other, uh, yesterday it went five ticks. And then it went the exact opposite direction for a lot. So what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting to see if it's going to do that and go in the exact opposite direction or if it's going to continue to go down in which case I'm going to go with it the chart is supporting it looking at it daily chart looks pretty good 10 minute chart looks very good I'm going to go with it if it breaks okay I'm going to go in I'm going to go in here chart looks really good code 2 is saying go down it appears to be continuing with this move because it's not going back the other way so you see how I was able to use that specific mathematics it went further than five further than two and see that you know if it is going to go back the other way it's going to go further than two or five which it may do right now it's a possibility has been doing that the last two days in a row but the chart does look good though the 10 minute looks good and the daily also looks pretty good so we'll see if this one is a winner today the reason why I took it is because it looked like it has potential to be a winner and it did go further than what it's been doing when it goes the exact opposite direction so I think this is a good shot for a winner the only thing I don't like about this trade is that it's one to one you know where I can get <laughs> one to five with uh, code two and um, with code one I can get you know in a normal code one I can get you know sometimes one to two from ten to twenty so the math is really good on those whereas this one's just one to one especially in the light of the last two days not working and losing twenty ticks so it's a bit it's a little risky but I decided to go for it because the chart also looks good in combination with the code two one trade per day okay I'll come back I thought I'd go ahead and show you what the chart looks like so that I give you kind of an idea of what I think a chart a good chart looks like this is a 10 minute chart and you see how it's just going down let me zoom out a little bit more you can see how it's just going down right and then right here it gives a code 2 entry to go short so you can see how it can just continue to go down here at least maybe to the double bottom down here or triple bottom whatever down here. Now let's go look at the daily chart. Now this is what the daily chart looks like. You can see the daily chart, you know, it also looks like it's going down on the daily. I mean, you know, it's been going all the way down, right? Now it's going down like that right there and it gives a short entry off of code 2. You know, that's what I mean by the chart looks good for the code 2 trade. Whereas before, the other ones that were the losers the last couple of days, the chart didn't look good for it. This one happens to do so. So I think the math on it is a little is a little bit higher. I do, however, want to see it come down and break below the 90. And then, you know, go down a few ticks, five ticks or so. And then I'm going to place a break even stop on it. So I'm going to give it a chance to go down and hit the exit. And if it doesn't want to, wants to pop back up, then that's fine too. It'll just break me even. I might put it like a couple ticks on it. A couple ticks in front. Okay, so uh, I'll be back. Maybe it's going to go make the break here. Let's see, where would I put it at? 80.95? Go ahead and prepare it. I'll come right back. Oh, there it goes. Okay, 8095. Let's put the stop on it. 8095. Okay.
Okay, it's a little bit. Okay, there it goes. All right. 80, 95 on the stop. Let me just look at the code for a second. How far did that go? I need to calculate something. I'll be right back. Okay, I am looking for it to go back down here, right there. I'm going to place a break even stop on it. See, it would have got me right there if I'd have placed it too early. It's all a matter of timing, too, on the stop. What would be really ideal is to wait for it to break right here, then place it. But it's a little bit risky, this trade. Because it's, a, it's, like, it's like triple bottoming off the 10 minute. And it's possible it might just pop back up and just go shallow today. So I really do want to get a stop on it. If it wants to break even, let it break even. It's a little bit risky. Okay, let me prepare it. Stop will be set to 80.95. I'm going to place it now. If it wants to come back up, pop back up and come get it, let it. If it wants to drop out here and go hit the exit, it's set to do so. Nothing to stop it. Let's go check the exit real quick. Should be at. Oops, I've got it set for a dollar. Okay, let's adjust that to. It'll be 77 on the exit. Eighty seventy seven or twenty ticks. That's gonna be a break right there. Let me see. Will it be a break? I think so. I'm not sure. It might actually it might be right at the double bottom. No, I think it's gonna be a break if it hits. Yeah. That's not the best place to be put in your exit. <laughs> It really isn't. Actually, it's a, it's like a terrible place because it's either going to bounce back up off of it, or if it does break, it's going to go much lower. Well, I don't know about much lower, but it's likely to go an extra ten. I'm going to get ready to exit manually. It's right almost at the bottom. I'm going to get ready just in case it pops back up. I'm going to get out. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Where's the code? Where's the code? Let me see. Let me see. It looks. It, yeah, it looks good. Okay. It just got me out. There you have it. Code two trade. Now the reason why I took that trade, I explained it to you, but let me explain it again, was because the daily chart looked good, going down red bar. The ten minute chart looked good. You know, I showed it to you. It was going down, it had already gone down quite a bit. Then code two said go short. So it's kind of, you know, those are kind of good trades, especially when the daily looks good too. In combination with the 10 minute, they both look good. You don't always see that. So when you do, and then you get the code two trade, those are higher math. Just like you just saw. That's why I took that one. But the last two days in a row have both been 20 tick losses. I just didn't take them. And another thing, one went two, one went five. I waited for it to go more than five before I got in. To try and keep from that happening. If it did just go two, went five, went the other way, I just wouldn't have gotten in. Only when it went more than that did I get in. So it was kind of a way for me to try to avoid that. That uh, Now it could have just went 10 and then went the other way. It could have happened. But I went with the chart and the code at the same time. That's why it worked. That's what I'm trying to explain, I guess. So you can use that. You know, when you see that, go with those. Because those are your high percentage trades, for sure. You know? I mean, 
some people out there really are playing like a like a mathematical game with their contracts. Well, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the math is on that trade just there, but it's pretty high. High enough to definitely play a mathematical game with your contracts with it, for sure. But you'd have to wait for that scenario to happen, where the 10 minute and the daily are both in combination with each other, and then you get the same code to, to, go, to do a certain thing, to go that same direction that the charts are saying. That's pretty high math. Okay, I'm going to get going for today. That's a code 2 trade today plus a... Wait a second. What did I take today? Okay, I took a code 2 and then I took a, just took another code 2. A one trade per day strategy code 2. So everything I took today was code 2. Yesterday was all code 1. Today is all code 2. And as you can see, Code 2 is very profitable. Okay, traders, I will be back tomorrow to do some more trading using the code system. Happy trading out there.